Hi, I'm Tanya Peterson with the Anxiety Shm Anxiety blog on HealthyPlace.com. I'm wondering if, like me, you ever feel like a failure or that what you do or don't do or say or don't say is wrong, is not good enough. Well, if you feel that way, I've got good news. That is not the truth. It simply isn't accurate. It's distorted. It's something that anxiety tells you so it can stay in control of you. Anxiety sits there in the mind and it, it, it watches everything that we're doing and it has a constant running critical commentary. And because of that, we often feel like failures. I said like nothing that we do is good enough. Anxiety tends to make us discount the positive or yes, but if somebody gives you a compliment, for example, do you find yourself thinking, well, yes, but nothing else was right. Or yeah, I did well on this, but I screwed up that. Or yeah, they said it, but they probably didn't mean it. They were probably just trying to be nice. I, I'm really just a failure. Again, that's anxiety. And it's possible to say back to anxiety, hey, I am not a failure. You can tell anxiety that you are just so not a failure. And an important step in doing that is to start to notice your perspective. What are you focusing on? Are you listening to what anxiety tells you? I do until I realize what I'm doing and then I shift my perspective. Just because anxiety is pointing out your shortcomings and making you feel like you're not good enough, it's not true. So shift your perspective from what anxiety is saying about you to what is actually accurate about you. Pay attention. What, what are you doing well? Where are your successes? What do you do right? And when people tell you, hey, you did a great job at this. Instead of listening to anxiety saying, eh, no, you didn't. Maybe listen to them because, you know, they could be telling the truth. And watch, did you do a good job? Think about your performance. Think about what you said, what you did. Watch that perspective and stop listening to anxiety. Years ago, I ran across this, this cute story about a young boy who was practicing baseball. He was out practicing his hitting and he'd throw the ball up in the air and he had his bat and he'd, he'd swing at the ball and it would fall to the ground. And he would do it again. Up would go the ball, swing the bat, and down the ball would go to the ground. And he did this over and over and over. And he, he, he didn't stop. He just kept doing it. And finally, when he was done, he picked up the ball and kind of tossed it up. And rather than moping about never hitting a ball, he said, wow, I had no idea I was such a good pitcher. And that is a healthy perspective. What are you doing that is right and good? And when anxiety says, you dropped the ball, you dropped it again, you're never going to succeed. You're a failure. Look at how you dropped the ball. Say, no, I am a good pitcher. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.